Interesting question. Some donkeys and some chickens are there in the garden. I counted 64 legs in all, 20 heads in all. How many donkeys are there? 64 legs, 20 heads. Chickens and donkeys. What's, what's, what's the question trying to convey here? Every donkey, every donkey has one head. Every chicken has one head. That is obvious. And so, leaving out fantasy movies, this is a possibility. And what is different here? Every donkey has four legs. Every chicken has two legs. So, the number of heads is nothing but the number of donkeys plus the number of chickens. But the number of legs, number of donkeys into four, number of chickens into two. Brilliant. In all of these questions, I really like thinking about extreme scenarios. What do I mean by extreme scenarios? Forget donkeys and chickens. Right? Assume it's only chickens. So, 20 of these, that will have 20 heads and 40 legs. All 20 were chickens. All 20 were donkeys. There will be 20 heads, 80 legs. No chickens at all, no donkeys at all. Very simple. Either extreme. Our answer for number of legs is 64 only because we are in between. There are some number of donkeys and some number of chickens. Now think about this. From this, if I take one chicken and say, look, instead of having all 20 chickens, one of these, I will change and make it into a donkey. What happens? Chicken had only two legs. A donkey will have four. So if I bring in one donkey, number of legs will increase by two. Two are going out, four are coming in. Right? So, so from 40, I'll go to 42. If you have two donkeys, I'll go to 44. Three donkeys, I'll go to 46. So my number of donkeys is one. And my total number of legs will be 42. This two will become 44. This three will become 46 and so on. Very simple. Every donkey gives me two additional legs. Additional from what? Additional from 40. I need to have 64 legs or I need 24 more legs. Each donkey gives me two or I have 12 donkeys. Or my scenario, I have 8 chickens and 12 donkeys. Why 8 chickens? Totally there are 20 animals. 12 are donkeys, remaining 8 will be chickens. And this is obviously a very algebraic way of doing this. And I'm going to tell you that, but I want you to think in terms of if I take away a chicken, bring in a donkey, what happens? Okay. What is the algebraic way of doing this? Let's say the number of chickens x, the number of donkeys x chickens, 20 minus x donkeys. Why? Totally there are 20. x are chickens, the remaining are donkeys. Remaining from what? Remaining from 20. So there are 5 chickens, there are 15 donkeys. So 10 chickens, there are 10 donkeys. 7 chickens, 13 donkeys. How am I finding it? I am subtracting from 20. This is x, this is 20 minus x. Each chicken has 2 legs. Each donkey, 4 legs. 2 times x plus 4 times 20 minus x will give us 64. Total number of legs, total number of legs. Add these two. You get total number of legs, which is 64. Solve for this, you'll get the number of chickens that are there. You want to find how many donkeys are there, or you want to find 20 minus x. You solve for this, you'll get x is 8, or 20 minus x is 1. Brilliant, that's the algebraic way of doing it. Not a big fan. You will do plenty of questions like this as you go subsequent classes. You'll, this will become autopilot easy. But I wanted to think about if I take away a chicken, put in a donkey, what happens to my system? That is more important, that is more fun. Hush.